Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about components and states in Adobe XD. So let's get started with the very first concept, which is using components. And components are extremely useful in Adobe XD because basically they enable you to have uh, uh, reusable components and uh, they're great for design consistency, especially for working on design systems and complex projects. So the way you create a component is actually very easy. You can simply select uh, a both a layer or a group in this case we have this uh, group with this uh, text button and a simple background we're going to click on components right on the top and as you can see now this uh, element uh, this group has become a component now the way you you can be sure that uh, that is true is that now we're going to have this uh, rectangle which is a 90 degree um, on the right so as you can see also if you go on the components panel right here on the assets um, you can see that uh, we have at the very bottom section of this column a uh, label named component and uh, here we have our button now the very very cool thing is that uh, this is going to serve us uh, as a library so i can literally go anywhere around uh, in design project and i can simply drag and drop uh, the component uh, but this time uh, this, this is going to create uh, an instance so we're always going to have uh, the master component which uh, you can see by simply uh, looking at the very top left corner which is filled and uh, we're going to see that uh, an instance is uh, is not the master since uh, this is the top left uh, corner is not going to be filled now i want to also show you some uh, really cool features uh, that uh, have been recently introduced in adobe xd when it comes to components and uh, states especially uh, but before we do that let's just uh, do command z just a few times so this element is not uh, this group is not a component anymore and i want to show you another way that you can create a component you can also right click uh, and uh, you can uh, see over here there's the make a component you can also use the shortcut uh, command plus k in order to create a component so just another way that you can create components very easily now if you look at the very top right you can see that we're on uh, the default state now, the very cool thing uh, that uh, Adobe XD recently introduced uh, is that you can add states uh, within the same component. And this is a game changer because if we click on uh, add a new state, and for example, we selected the hover state, which is essentially the state when you, know, you hover over the button. And uh, we go ahead and, and we selected the state and we change it up. So for example, uh, right here, I have a linear gradient. I'm just going to make it like very dark. Uh, and uh, we can hop onto the prototype section, which is a section which we're going to explore in the future videos more in depth. But for the time being, this is essentially going to um, enable you to create uh, live prototypes. And uh, it's going to be a very interesting, uh, um, very interesting section. And uh, we're going to click on desktop preview. And as you can see, this uh, big window appears and uh, I am now in the hover state, but if I go back to the default state and I click on the preview again and I hover over it, you can see that now I actually have the hover effect directly in the button. And imagine having a project with maybe like hundreds of screens and you have the same component with the same hover effects. You, you can see where I'm going. Like you can create very elaborate prototypes um, in a very fast and, and efficient way by doing this. And uh, we're going to explore a second uh, example of this uh, with the toggle button. So let's go back uh, into the design and uh, we're going to create uh, a component out of this toggle. So just clicking on plus, then I'm going to click on plus again I'm going to uh, access the hover state. And by the way, you can create, uh, you can add as many uh, states uh, as you want. So that's another really cool feature. And uh, let's go over here and let's make this other state with uh, this uh, different background color. And we're going to click uh, over here on the component again. We're going to click on the default state. 
we're going to go back uh, into prototype. And uh, as you can see, there is this uh, basic interaction, which uh, has already been uh, uh, created by Adobe XD. And uh, if you go ahead and we click uh, on the plus once again, you can see that now this toggle has been uh, uh, animated automatically. And uh, we're going to explore um, all of the different uh, uh, triggers and actions that you can do in uh, future videos. But for the time being, you know, um, the, the very basic uh, elements are hover and tap. So you can decide to actually have it on hover or if uh, you have to tap in order to access that interaction. And uh, there's also transition and uh, the auto animate. And, uh, you know, this is going to, to bring us in uh, some more advanced topics, which we're going to discuss in a bit. But for the time being, my advice would be to just play around with uh, the concept of components, uh, create your states. Maybe if, if you want to go ahead and play around with some of these elements, uh, feel free to do that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for components and states in Adobe XD. And I'll see you in the next video. So I really hope you enjoyed this Adobe XD tutorial. If you're interested in more videos about uh, UI UX design, uh, on my YouTube channel, I have over 300 videos where I share my experience uh, being a freelance designer. And I've been doing this for over eight years now. So uh, it's definitely been a while. And I share my experience for free on uh, my YouTube channel. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in uh, those kind of things. And if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up as this motivates me to create uh, more of this free content for you guys. So until next time.